some crazy mm -hmm. number. Well, how about if you just cut that by 20% and take that one hour and read a book? Read a book every day. Half hour, what's that, 20 pages? When you think about 20 pages a day and you take that over 365 days, all of a sudden you've read 12, 15 books a year. Yeah, I, I, I think I read that most people, I mean, this was an astounding percentage of, of America, had never read a book other than maybe a, you know, a pulp novel. You know, or, or picked up a business book or a, a how-to book since they, you know since high school. Well, what, that's what, frightening. It, it is frightening, and one of the things that 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 I that people people get inside a box, and it's tough for them to get out. And and you need guidance in life. You need to when someone gives you an opportunity, you need to take it. You need to jump out of it, and and for me, I've I have, and it's very interesting. Uh, I consider Randall, my business partner, also a good friend, and why is that? Because he opened a lot of doors for me that I didn't know could be opened. I didn't. Well, what, what, what I didn't mean? see it. Well, well, one thing are the are the motivational CDs mm -hmm. and 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 learning. I, I I have never heard of a lot of people he talked about. Why? Not from any, not from not wanting to know this stuff. I just, just We're never, exposed it, to just it. Never, never exposed to it. Yeah. And, and since that time, it has just opened up a world of life and difference. And it is making a difference. It makes a difference. Now you, you, it's, it's not only what you know, it's how you improve your, the things that you don't know that makes you valuable. Oh, it really is. It really is. And the, and, and the important part that also for me are helping people are helping people and expecting nothing in return. And that's important. And as Zig Ziglar says, if you go around and you help enough people get what they want in life, you're going to get what you want in life. And, and that is so important. And I think people fail to realize that. A lot of times I will go to a networking event and meet with people and, and someone will give me their card, tell me what they do, tell me what they do, and tell me how they can help me. Not really even asking about myself. They don't know anything about you, but they're sure they can. But help they are sure they can help me. Absolutely, and that happens all the time. And that's that's a big error when people go out and network like that. Absolutely, I. It it really is one. Is one I'm sure this is one of the things you learned in networking. It's not about you. If you want to be a successful networker, it's never about you. Well, unfortunately, I would say seventy to eighty percent of the people don't know that. Yep. Yeah. And, how do you help people like that that don't know? Um, one way is to really point it out to them. And, and, it, and it's true to point it out because, you know, I'm from New York. Um, one of the that biggest. Means you're shy and retired. I got to tell you, you know, one of, one of the biggest learning curves for me was moving here and how, how nice people were. I remember going the first Sunday that I moved here and I went to Starbucks and I wanted to have my cup of coffee and I wanted to be left alone. I just want my cup of coffee. Just like when I walk into New York, I pay, I get my coffee and I walk away. Well, this person was the nicest person in the world at 6.30 in the morning. How is your day today? How is everything going for you? I was like, <sighs> there were two ways I could go, right? One was just give me my coffee or one was engage. I decided to engage. So, it's so fun, it? it is it's fun. fun. It is fun, and I and I've had to learn that. I've had to learn that. <laughs> well, you know, having lived in one of the suburbs of Manhattan myself, better known as Miami. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly the people you're talking about, and it's a very it's a very different you know culture. Right? It, it is, and and one of the things I will do is I will point out to someone if I feel that they're talking to me in a way that just doesn't make sense to them. That does that does them an injustice. Um, you know, I've, I'll meet with someone for coffee, try to get to know them, because I think building relationships, there is the professional part, but I need the personal part. I need to know, is there, is, is, do we have something in common? Can we work together? You know, one of the biggest, biggest things that for me is that if I have an appointment at 9 o'clock and you're the one who reaches out to me and you set the appointment and you set the time and I show up at 10 of 9 and I'm waiting for you and you don't show up till 9.03, which happened to me a few weeks ago, well, guess what? You have just lost a large amount of credibility in my book. Um, and and, and that's, that's, that's important. That, that telegraphs a lot about how you think of people. It, it, it really does, because the fact is that, you know, I, if I'm going to give you, Chris, a referral to someone I know, 
you know, 